What's up? I'm Alex the Entrepreneur. And as an entrepreneur, you have to wear multiple hats. The simplest way to figure out what to prioritize is a concept that I call leverage. Leverage is the idea of completing a task that gets you closer to more than one goal. For example, to record this video, I have to write a script. I can then throw the script away or use it to write an article. The article can then be found by other people bringing me more traffic. At the same time, this video is promoting my course as well as supporting me as a consultant. I'm leveraging my time doing something that helps me in multiple ways. Keeping in theme, this weekend I built a simple static site by using Gatsby and Strapi. The site costs nothing to host and allows me to send you more free stuff without third-party applications. And in this video, I'll show you which steps I took and you can take in order to build it. This is a static website that loads extremely fast with offline capabilities and it costs nothing to host. Building it with Gatsby and Strapi is extremely simple and requires no particular skills besides a little bit of JavaScript, as well as following a couple of tutorials. In my case, I built it over a Sunday afternoon. I started by working with Strapi first. I created a couple of collection types called freebies and lectures. Freebies are free stuff you can download, like cheat sheets and checklists. Lectures are the slides I've used to record my various lectures in the complete Strapi course. They both have a title, an image, and a URL. For both of them, the URL will come from a Google Drive upload, so I can simplify my workflow while zeroing hosting costs. Next, I focused on Gatsby. After installing Gatsby with its quick start theme, I installed the Strapi Source plugin. I set the query limit to minus one, which means no limits, and set the API URL to process.env.api underscore URL so that I can inject it at runtime. I also activated the Gatsby dash plugin dash offline just because. I set up a couple of pages by adding files in the slash pages folder and for each page I also wrote a simple GraphQL query to fetch all of the collections. In order to write the GraphQL queries I used Graphical which is an interface that allows you to write your queries visually. By default, Gatsby provides graphical on HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 8000 slash underscore 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 GraphQL. Once the site looks good locally, it's time to deploy it. I used Heroku for hosting Strapi because I find it convenient and since I need Strapi to run exclusively when I edit content, I can then use their free tier for it. I used S3 to host my images by using the S3 Strapi upload provider. I used Netlify to deploy my Gatsby site and Cloudflare to facilitate managing DNS and get some caching from them. As for hosting, Netlify offers a generous free hosting tier, so the only thing I pay for are the domain and the image hosting fees from AWS that exceeds the free quota. Since Gatsby uses the source images only on build, I would assume that those costs will be negligible. Additionally, using Cloudflare for caching as well as setting the application as using Gatsby plugin offline reduces bandwidth consumption drastically. The site is now accessible at entrepreneur.xyz. So if you're looking for some freebies, go ahead and check it out. The link is in the description. If you're interested in using Gatsby with Strapi, I cover it in the complete Strapi course. Check out the complete Strapi course. You can go for building a blog with Gatsby and Strapi in little over an hour, and then you'll build and deploy a fully fledged e-commerce with Gatsby, Strapi, and Stripe for payment processing. Link in the description. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day.